Okay, so let's um let's talk about life in YouTube. Um, I don't know if everyone's ev- anyone's watching this, but it's probably not. Um, life is a journey, and I created this channel to upload unedited videos because I'm feeling kind of um overwhelmed when it comes to editing videos. Um, you did your best, the quality or. I didn't say I did my best. I think I mostly did my best, but it hasn't gained any views. I think there's a particular reason for it because it doesn't help anybody or it's already been done like that. And yeah, life is indeed hard and it proves me that all the things, no matter how hard you work, it it requires time it requires improvements and in youtube when the youtuber says to you you have to be consistent that cons- specific consistency needs to be uh, uh match or pair up with um continuous improvements because when you make videos consistent every day for example, you, you aren't editing it every day and you just keep um, uploading it like this format. I think there's a very low chance of you getting views or getting subscribers or getting a community if it's that what you want or getting discovered because the quality is so not good or not entertaining. The reason why we're editing is to be more um to gain an tr- attraction to make our videos quality as entertaining because this is youtube this is an entertaining industry and it's uh becoming to be mixed by education and most educational channels started to transform into edutainment to make their education more entertaining and much more engaging <sighs> and that's youtube there's a lot of requirements i think i've learned a lot actually this is a vlog for uh, june june 4 2022 and right now i'm still 16 one month before i'm 17 and yeah the time is really flies and i think my official youtube channel should be more on uh um youtube tips for now i'm go- just focusing on one niche in order to grow because last time my niche was reaction videos that I transformed to vlog, to haul, to gaming, then it transformed me to life advices, productivity, and now <laughs> YouTube tips. And it's super hilarious. One channel with a lot of um, exper- experimentation when it comes to niches. And I feel good about it because I've learned a lot of experience. I learned how to speak English fluently or not necessarily to be more. I learned English to be more, um, less mental block, should I say. And I'm not really precise at speaking English again. I'm reiterating this. But it helps me a lot to communicate with people, general people around the world from U.S., from Canada to Egypt to Saudi Arabia, to India, to the Philippines, to everybody. Because most of the time, many people understand American English to be uh, to be general. And it's a nice way to communicate with international people uh, because they can understand me across the different platforms. And I just want to say that YouTube is very hard if you're planning to be a YouTuber or to be an influencer at any type of platform. You see Nas Daily, um, he was making 270 upload videos from Facebook and Facebook isn't a really good time back then to entertain people. It was YouTube, but he made a risk. He he uploaded 270 videos and he has aren't getting a result as me, uh, same as me. But consistently, he uploaded 1,000 quality videos only one minute in Facebook and that consistency and consistent improvement gaining a lot of traction for the viewers to enjoy his content because I I'm telling you YouTube is hard but if you have that gut willpower and very important passion 
and continuous improvement if I think no one can beat you because eventually if you did not make it on YouTube which I'm not very sure if I will make it I I think I haven't regret anything because I've I've done my passion I've done it as young as me as young as possible and it's truly great because in adulthood I think life is going to be um up or down because life is normal life is like a tire you a tire of wheels where you either get up or you either get down so I want to say that um, you gotta enjoy things you love the most because you heard it a lot of um, you heard this um, phrase a lot of times on a multiple online content creator they said uh, do what you're passionate about be motivated don't give up hard work pays off and I'm saying that those are true and people are keep saying that because it's really true but when it comes to consistency be consistent at all times don't forget to pair it with um, continuous improvement that is where you're going to get results or progress perhaps because I thought when I when I I see uh, a lot of famous YouTubers. Oh, they upload every day. They have hundreds of videos every month. I have to upload every day so I could get famous. And the fact is that that's not what it happens. Uh, most of the YouTubers have some luck, but eventually the 99% of, of it comes from hard work and determination. I just want to describe that. And that 1% luck is... And makes a huge difference so you got to depend on that 99% hard work perhaps and I just want to say that I feel like I'm quitting I feel like I'm very pessimistic uh, I don't know what to do what kind of niche I love vlogging I love gaming but it's too on demand it's too competitive i can't grow out of this platform because today in 2022 when it comes to youtube you have to be a uh, business minded back in the golden age of youtube it's all about fun but now it's all about for uh, formality it's all about content it's all about quality people uh, retention is downgrading uh, become lesser and lesser so unlike the past golden age of YouTube no matter how long the video is they don't care but now one minute video ah it's too long like that if I can describe it to YouTube audiences and I'm vlogging to this uh, channel because I want to talk about life talk about stuff instead of um, vlogging on my main channel which no one's really interested I put it into this channel making <laughs> Um, random stuff making making random uh, videos I think YouTube is, isn't gonna last long for the next 50 100 but most predictably a uh, thousand years after this um, this platform will disappear or be beaten by some competitions and stuff but it's most likely not for now in the long term because YouTube is a very good platform perhaps I would not criticize it because I enjoy this and I will be doing this even if I'm uh, not famous or I've never been famous uh, even if I'm uh, not getting that specific traction or traffic I don't want to feel pressure I don't want to feel like it's an obligation I want to feel like it's a hobby but it's saved by it's a priority but it is from the least priority because the number one is health or God God health family then school then the very me uh, bottom part is YouTube because YouTube has taught me a lot of skills uh, when it comes to um, speaking when it comes to oops my time when it comes to being myself discovering what I'm actually passionate about what I'm actually good about like communication and skills and w the scripting the video editing and I know how to be how to there how to have the skill of video directing what makes a good video and what makes bad understand 
YouTube audiences more specifically. But now I want to continue discovering I for now. Right now, I think I want to discover what's good, what's about what about the algorithm of Facebook? What about the algorithm of Instagram? What makes people entertain? What makes people want to click your video? Like click through rate, retention. Listen, I have almost watch every youtube tips the best youtube tips are on youtube and i've been uh, cir circulating from lots of them but i'm really grateful because my channel from back in the pandemic wait i'm very tired back in the pandemic it gained uh, 9,000 subscribers which is kind of lucky and now I get 9,000 subscribers still with a, a 20 views, 30 views, and 50 views. But I'm grateful for the people who uh, watch my content. Um, especially, specifically, some of them made a membership because of my entertainment. But now I switched to education, so no more membership. I don't know. I don't care. And special shout out to E.G. Lowy. Lowy because he's my main supporter from whatever I started back in 2021 or 2020 but pretty sure it's 2021 if you're watching this shout out to EG Low search it in YouTube I G I E L O U he's a great guy so yeah I'm very grateful for the people I want to be here if I if I quit or if I did didn't have any drop of passion for this because I um I observed that many people okay bye bye